Parks and forestry officials are reminding everybody to do their part to stay safe while spending time outside this Memorial Day weekend. That includes being mindful of wildfire prevention and social distancing. Texans Maggie Glenn outlines how parks are encouraging people to live up to their slogan, keep our safe spaces safe. It gets, gets you back out to nature, but yet you're still safe with the mask and the distancing. Spending time outdoors this Memorial Day weekend will look different this year if you're heading to a Texas state park. Recommending that everyone brings their face, face coverings. It's not required, but it is strongly recommended. Making sure that you keep a six foot distance from people that are outside of your group. State parks are requiring visitors to book day passes online ahead of time to limit capacity and having a backup plan is key. Select more than one place to go to in case the first one you get to is closed You can or crowded, you can move on to the next one. At any park, wildfire prevention begins as soon as you arrive. We want you to park in appropriate places once you get there, uh, because even the underside of your car could be hot, and if you're parking in somewhere there's tall, dry grass, you could start a fire. It's also important to make sure campfires are completely put out. We want to put them out by drowning them, stirring them, and then drowning them again to make sure that they're really out. If the nearest state park is already booked for the day, check out Texas Parks and Wildlife's interactive map. Those are spread out from every corner of the state from El Paso all the way to the Louisiana border. So even though, you know, if you don't get into the park of your choice, there are many other options and it's a chance to really explore some of those new places and parks that you haven't experienced before. Maggie Glenn, KXAN News. Emma Long Metropolitan Park reached capacity and closed today. On the first day of new park enforcement rules in Travis County, Emma Long, Commons Ford Ranch, and Walter E. Long Metropolitan Parks are now factoring pedestrians, cyclists, and joggers into their capacity calculations. Officials say once they reach capacity, they won't allow additional walk-ins. If you're driving into those parks, you have to have a day pass. You can get that online and make a reservation. You can do that over the phone. This is only four visits that are from Thursday to Sunday.